Today I'm in the building where some of the best HVAC heating products are manufactured. Does that sound like an overstatement? Well, let's find out. After all, this is the Dare to Compare Tour. I'd like to introduce you to Dave Stanley, the Vice President of Manufacturing here at this facility. Dave, tell us a little more about the operations here. Well, Mark, uh, we're a 225,000 square foot facility. We operate 12 months out of the year. The products that we build are furnaces and air handlers, and then we do some service parts, and we love what we do. So tell me, Dave, what exactly makes this facility unique? Well, we like to think we have a combination of things that make us unique. We have a heavy focus on metrics here. We manage by metrics, and we basically know exactly where each and every measurement that we need to keep track of is in our plant. We have a strong focus on our employees with safety. We have a strong attention to quality, cost, and delivery. We make sure that our employees understand the value of our customers and what making a great product means each and every time it goes out the door. Great, so what's the first thing you want to show us today? We're going to take you out uh, to the heat exchange area on our furnace line and show you how we build the best heat exchangers in the business. Hey, that sounds good. Why don't we get our safety gear on and go take a look? All right, Dave, well here we are standing in front of where we make the best heat exchangers in the industry. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about that process? One of the things that's unique about our tubes in the bends is we have a wrinkle bend. And that wrinkle bend serves two purposes. It allows us to keep the integrity of the wall thickness on the inside and the outside. When you put that wrinkle on the inside, then you don't have that weak spot on the outside when you bend it around. Correct. The wall thickness is the same throughout the tube, even though it's bent. The other thing that that wrinkle bend does is that it helps with our turbulence inside with the gases, which promotes heat exchange. There's no weld joints or no brazing on these tubes at all. Basically, everything is pressure fit together. We swedge fit the tubes to our inner fronts, and the two tubes, when they're fused together, that's what the pressure fit as well. The other thing to add with our heat exchanger is that every one of them, before it hits the assembly line, is pressure decay checked. So we pressure test every heat exchanger to make sure that it's leak free. Our heat exchangers do not fail. They last virtually forever. Hey, that sounds really good. Why don't we go take a look now at the indoor coil operations? Let's do it. All right, Dave, here we are at the coil testing area you were telling me about, so why don't you tell me a little bit more about what goes on here? Rather than me walk you through this process, I'm going to turn you over to an expert, Dobble Shaw. He's our assembly superintendent. He can tell you everything you need to know about this process. Okay, great. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks for all your help. Hi, Dobble. How are you? Hey, Mark. How are you? Good to Real see you. Real good. Good to see you. Why don't you tell me, Dave tells me you're the expert, so tell me a little bit more about what goes on here with uh, coil testing. Brazing is one of the most important part of this whole process. Not everybody can do brazing. There are Goodman certified brazers who are certified once a year. Once the brazing operation is complete, the coil comes right over here to the cooling chamber. The braze joint gets cooled down and it goes for the test chambers. So the coils, as you can see over here, are being tested at 455 PSI pressure. It passes the test. So she takes this machine. And once the coil gets pinched off, it's become a seal system. The next and the final state before the coil gets installed inside the unit is the final detection test. Once the leak test is completed, she puts on a sticker with a clock number on it. So that way it holds people more accountable. And then the coil goes down and it gets inside the unit. Okay, well you test the coils. What about your furnaces? Do you do the same rigorous test standards for them? Absolutely, we test each and every furnace 100% of the time. Well, let's go take a look at that. Sure. Okay, Dobble, now we've got the furnaces here. Are you telling me that every single one of these that comes down the line gets tested? Absolutely. Each and every furnace that goes out of this factory is 100% run tested. When the unit is hooked up, it tests for any kind of amperage for the blow motor, the vent motor. It also checks the amperage for the igniter, and then it fires up the unit. Right. Once it fires up the unit, it checks for the amperage again for the vent motor and the blower motor in the heat mode, and then it shuts off the unit. At the end of the test, it prints out a label. So if the unit fails the run test, then it won't print out a label. Well, you know, we've looked at the insides of a lot of stuff here, but I walked past a machine earlier that looked pretty cool, and, and that's the cabinet machine. And, and it's a pretty cool process. All right, Dave, here we are at the cabinet bending machine. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Well, basically, this whole machine here 
will produce an entire furnace wrapper for us. We, we call them cabinets or wrappers. We start with a flat piece of steel that's been notched and pierced in our sheet metal department on one press. And we load those pieces of metal into the machine and they make their way down the automated stations. The flanges are put on them, various folds and, and such. And then the flat piece of steel is brought up into a U-bend that makes the three sides of the cabinet. And then we put our blower deck in and our bottom tie, which you can see right behind us right here, it's all done with toggle locks. There's no rivets, there's no screws, no fasteners. And we've got a finished cabinet ready for paint. Is there anything else that's uh, important to know about this machine? There's over 200 sensors in the machine that wow. locate and, and you know fix things in place. So we've got to stay on top of our preventive maintenance. But we're proud of this piece of equipment. Earlier I told you that this facility makes some of the highest quality gas furnaces. And after having taken the tour, I'm convinced. If you still need convincing, you need to take a Dare to Compare tour yourself.